Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well, today we're going to have a look at the transform options with the Divi theme. You can do some amazing things with transform. You can create sort of great hover effects, get things to grow. You can rotate things if you want to, and you can skew things. You can do all kind of things. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder, and we'll take you through some of these options. Once enabled, let's go down where we want to work. I've got three little modules here. If you go into any module, dark tab for a module, green tab for a row, blue tab for a section, go in there, you're always going to find these under the design tab, down to the bottom, and transform. And we've got five little tabs here. The first one is transform scale, so you can make things bigger or smaller. We're working on this little module right here. So for instance, you can make it bigger, make it smaller. There's a little check mark there, or a little chain if that's highlighted. You can do both sides at once there. And with Divi, as usual, if you don't like something, just simply select it, undo it. It'll take it back to the default. On this one, I've actually got a hover effect going and these transforms are great for a hover effect in any Div Divi module roll over the dark writing if you see a little arrow there click on it once you click on it it'll bring up these two tabs and you can set a regular state and a hover state for instance on this particular one I've got it growing a little bit on hover to that size so it won't actually grow until they do that but while we're in here, let's have a look at some of the other ones. If we go to the next tab, we've got Transform Translate. That's actually Move. So we can grab this thing. We can move it around our page wherever we want. And that's a great alternative to using positive and negative margin. If I just save this, let's put these all in a little row again. So I'm going to extend these styles. Just right click. Extend call to action styles to this row. We've got them all in a line there. Now what you can do with the translate is perhaps go into one and you can organize them in different places just to look a little nicer. So again, straight over to design, down to transform. I'm going to go to our translate. I'm going to move it a little bit across so it's almost overlapping with our one there. And I'm going to move it down a little bit. something like that. I'll leave the middle one where it is. Let's go into our right hand one. Over to design, straight down to transform. Let's move this out of the way. We'll go over to our translate and perhaps move this one over, maybe down a little bit more. Obviously you make yours exactly how you want to make yours. But you can get some wonderful effects doing that. Now if you're overlapping elements, I'll just mention here, you can use Z index to pull them forward or backwards. Say we want this one to be on the top or in front of all the others. You can go in there, over to advanced and position. Here you'll find Z index. If we want this on the top, the way Z index works is the higher number will always appear on the top. So let's give this, say a Z index of 30. And we'll give this one a Z index of say 20 over to advance position. Now this one will always appear on top of this one. If I go in there and make this background slightly different, content background is always under content. Just give it a blue background. As you can see, our other one is on top of this one, the one with the higher value. Now if I was to go back into this one, we gave this one a Z index of 20. If I was to go back into this one and gave it a Z index of 10, over to advance and position again. Let's change that to 10. Great, well let's undo that and we'll put everything back how it was. I'm going to use this style. I'll just extend those styles. There we go. 
Okay, let's take a look at a different one now. We'll go in there, it doesn't matter which one, they're all the same. Over to Design, straight down to Transform again, and Rotate. It's pretty obvious, you can rotate it around this axis, around this axis, or around this axis. And again, that's another great one for rota for hover effects or animations if you want to. For instance, let's reset these all. And again, just reset everything by deleting what's in there. It'll go back to the default for you. And you can create a sort of 360 hover effect for this, or actually 359 hover effect. You can't go to 360. So let's get our little hover state up. And on regular state, we want it regular way around. When they hover over it, let's have it flip almost all the way around. So I'm going to drag this all the way back around like this to 359 degrees. You can get it close, then you can increment up with your little arrows there. And that's almost there. So what's going to happen when they put their mouse on it? They'll be looking at it like this when they put their mouse on it it's going to flip round, and you can combine several of these you can combine several different things you can have it grow or shrink when it does that if you want it to have it shrink when it does that simply go in there desktop will leave it 100 percent when they hover over it let's make it a little bit smaller maybe 80 percent so now when they visit it'll look like that so when they hover over it it's going to rotate and shrink also. Great, well let's move on to our next one. That's pretty self-explanatory. It's a skew. And what a skew does is pulls the corners of the things and takes squares and makes them different. And again, you can just drag these things and skew it however you want. Get whatever shape you want and leave it like that. Again, that's another nice one. You make some nice hover effects with that as well. I'm going to leave that pretty much how it is though. And again, just delete and it'll go back to the regular state for you. Okay, our last but not least one is Transform Origin. And what that does is it changes the point at which something will rotate. So if I take it down to this corner, it'll actually rotate around this corner when we rotate it. So if I take this down here somewhere, now if we go back to rotate and rotate it, you can see it's rotating around this little spot in the corner there and going crazy. And again, you can get some mad effects doing that if you want to. And it works on all the axes. And again, if you don't like what you've done, simply delete it, it'll go back to the regular. So let's quickly create three different effects for this. I'm gonna put it all the same again by going right clicking on the module, extending the styles, not to this page, but to this row. And we'll create three hover effects. I think I've got one on this one already. If we go to design, transform. I think we use scale on this one. Let's have a look at the hover. Yeah, that's transforming by scale. This one, we'll do that little rotate on it. Design, transform. I'll make sure we take that scale off. And we'll re rotate this one. We've already got that rotate on there, fantastic. When they're hovering on it, when they're not, it's gonna be like that. And on our last one, let's make this skew perhaps. Design, transform. And we'll have it skew and hover. So up over the dark riding, a little arrow. When they hover over it, so if we go over to skew, so on the hover state, I'm going to drag one corner up. I still want it to be readable. 
Now the time it takes to go from desktop to hover state is 300 milliseconds by default, which is pretty quick, just under a third of a second. If you want to slow it down or speed it up, go over to your advanced, down to transitions. There's your default 300. Let's take this one up to say 600. You can slide the slider, you can type in a value, and you can increment up and down with the little arrows here. Don't want any delay. The delay is if they put their arrow on it and you want it to not do it for a few seconds, put your timing in there. Speed curve I'm going to use for this for my hover effects. I like ease in, ease out. They're all subtly different, so check them out. But for my hover effects, that's my go to. Well, let's save this. Save the page changes. And exit the visual builder. Roll on down. And our first one should grow when I hover over it. And these are some great little effects you, you can do. That's lovely. Second one is going to spin around almost 360, 359. When we take it off, it's going to go back to how it was. And our last one here is going to skew and it's going to take a bit longer. It's going to take two thirds of a second. And there we have it. And those are great eye catching things to have on your desktop site. Hover effects do work on tablet and mobile but of course they've got to tap instead of hover over but on the other hand you can do some great design things especially with the translate moving things around stacking them on top of each other slightly skewing things and things like that you can really have some fun and get some great things going so there you go guys there's a bit of an overview of the transform feature of the divi theme really useful little option i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.